Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to create a new Teespring storefront by adding your banner, logo, products, and more. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. Teespring, now rebranded as just Spring, is constantly updating their platform, so this is an updated tutorial on how to build your Teespring store. We will go over how to add your Teespring store logo, your banner, products, social links, and other elements. If you take a look at the message up top here, you can see that Teespring is actually going through a rebranding process and will now be known as just Spring. Let's click on learn more to check out the new site. As you can see, they not only have a new name, but also a new web address, a new logo, and a new site design. They also updated the store builder, so if you're creating a new store or editing an existing store, this video will show you the updated process. So once you're ready, go ahead and go up to the top menu and click on Start Creating. If you're new to Teespring, go ahead and create your account. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in now. Once you log in, you should be taken to your Teespring dashboard. Let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the Stores tab. This should take you to the Teespring store editor where you can create a new store or edit an existing store. So let's start by adding our store name. Simply click here and type in the name you want to use for your store. You should see your store name update on your storefront preview here as well. So now that we've named our store, let's look up at the top right and click on the store editor button. Here's where you can edit your store layout and your theme settings. This includes your navigation bar, your hero banner, your products, and your footer. So let's start with the navigation bar. The first thing we can do from the navigation bar menu is add our logo. This step is optional. If you like, you can just leave your store name text. But for my store, I'm gonna add a logo. So let's click on the select image button here. I can then find the image I wanna use for my store logo and open it up. And voila! You can see that my store name has now been replaced with my logo. Next, we can click here to enable our social links to be displayed on our store. We'll go over how to add the links to our social media pages later in the video. If you like, you can also adjust the background color of your navigation bar and the menu items. When selecting your colors, make sure you pick colors that will complement your brand. Also, make sure you select colors where your logo and your menu items are easy to see. Once you add your logo and colors, make sure you go down to the bottom right and click on the Save button. If you look at the icons up top, you can preview how your changes will look on both desktop and on mobile. If everything looks good, let's click on the tab here to go back to our storefront sections. Now let's look at our menu and click on the Hero Banner tab. Here's where you can add or edit your store banner. Let's check out the Advanced tab first. Instead of simply using an image for your banner, the Advanced tab allows you to add a title, a subtitle, some body text, a custom background image, and even a custom button that sends your customers to a specified link. If you click the Add Link button here, a box will pop up where you can add a hyperlink to send your customers to a specific category or web address. Once you select your link or category, make sure you go down and click the Add button. You can then select your background color if you're not using an image, your text color, your button background color, and your button text color. And again, remember to use colors that complement your brand. But if you're creating a new store and don't really have a need for a button yet, you can start by just creating and uploading a custom banner. If we go back over to the default tab, we can select to upload a custom banner with the dimensions of 1650 by 600 pixels. To create my banner and my logo, I use Canva Pro. With Canva Pro, you can export your logo with a transparent background and access tons of free templates and images to use for your banner. Not only can you create logos and banners, but also awesome designs that you can use for your t-shirts and other products. To give Canva Pro a try for free for 30 days, click the link in the video description. So to upload my new banner, let's click on the select image button here. I can then find and open up the banner I just created in Canva Pro. There we go. You should now be able to see your new banner image on the desktop and mobile preview images on the right. Once you finish adding your banner, go ahead and click the save button down at the bottom. So now that our store has a hero banner, 
Let's go up to the top left here and click to go back to our sections menu. The next thing we want to add to our storefront is our products. To add products to your storefront, you'll first need to create some. For a full tutorial on how to create your Teespring products, check out the videos on my channel or click the YouTube card at the top right here. So once you have some products to add to your storefront, go ahead and click on the products tab. This is where you'll be able to view all the products that you've added to this storefront. It's still showing my old store layout for some reason, but I'm sure that'll update once we publish. So let's add some products to my store. Go ahead and click on the Add Products button. This will open up a menu where you can view all the designs and products that you've created on your Teespring account. Take your time and go through all the products and select the ones that you've created for this particular store. My store is for merch sellers, so I'm going to select all the products for my print-on-demand professionals. You'll be able to select any product variation that you added when you uploaded your design. Once you finish selecting all of your products, go ahead and click on the Add button here. You'll then be able to view all the products that you selected and add a star to the products that you want to add as your featured products. Your featured products will be the first products displayed on your storefront. Once you're finished adding your products and selecting your featured products, go ahead and click on the Save button. You should now be able to view all the products that you added in your store preview. You can see all the featured products I selected at the top and all of the rest of the products I added to my store. So now that we've added our navigation bar, our hero banner, and our products, let's click the tab here to edit our store footer. In the footer section, you can select to display your social links in your footer add some about text, and change the colors for your footer background and text. In the text box here, you can simply type in a description of your store, your products, or your brand. You could also describe your target market, your design process, or anything else interesting you would like to add. If you scroll down to the bottom of your store preview here, you should be able to view your store footer and the text that we just added. If you go to the footer colors section, you can select to change your background color and your text color. Make sure you select colors that match your brand and are easy to read. If you want to show your social links in your footer, make sure you select the display links option here. Once you finish setting up your footer, make sure you hit save down here at the bottom right. And there we have it. We just finished setting up all the main sections for our Teespring storefront. But there are still a few things that we need to do. So let's go up to the top right and click on exit editor. Teespring or Spring now allows you to add your own custom domain to your store. If we click the button here, you can search for and purchase a new domain name or connect a domain name that you might already own. But if you're a new seller, you really don't have to worry about this shit and you can just use your default URL. But one thing we do want to add is any links to our social media brand pages. If we click the add a social profile button here, we can add a link to our Facebook page, our Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or any other social profile you see here. Simply select the social media platform, then add a link to your page in the destination text box here. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the add button. Remember to save your changes by clicking save at the bottom right. The social links will be displayed in all the places we selected when creating our storefront. And congratulations, we've just finished building our storefront on Teespring, now known as Spring. Let's go up to the top here and click on the View Store button to check out our work. So here's my new storefront that we just created. I have my menu items up here in my navigation bar that displays all the product categories that I currently have available in my store. If you select it to display your social links in your navigation bar, they'll be displayed here. When shoppers click on the Facebook icon here, it should take them directly to my Facebook brand page. So under the navigation bar, we have our banner, and then our featured products will be displayed at the top. We can then view all the products that we added to our storefront, and down at the very bottom, we can view the footer that we set up. You should see your footer description and any social links that you added. Customers should now be able to visit your storefront, select a product, and make a purchase. So that's a quick overview of how to set up your storefront on Teespring, now known as Spring. If you enjoyed the video, Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.